we're in front of Gukwaios Heizok House of the Heizok. That means we all come together, one heart, one mind. These totem poles that are standing in here, four of them, they're the ones that tell the story of who we are, where we came from, where we're we going. The Heizok people have been governing our territory since time immemorial when Himaskeso, the great chief above, placed our first ancestors all throughout the territory. They were instilled the responsibility to manage and take care of and to govern our territory, including the ocean. These responsibilities also included the development of Kuilas and Tlahui, which are the customary laws and the authority over our territory. Our first ancestors developed these laws and authority in the Tliadzi, in the big house. Now we we're able to use this venue and use the, the meaning behind the, this building, take all the words that are spoken through the potash system, through the feast, wrapping that into a constitution is carrying on the legacy of the, the great work that was started by our first ancestors. This constitution our ancestors would be proud of because it's something that has come from community and from our teachings that have been passed down throughout generations through the potlatch system. It's uh, putting into practice the forms of government and governance that we've had for thousands and thousands of years. The Constitution for me is a reclamation of our health sick governance. It's an exercise of decolonization, putting out there for the world our health sick laws and our health sick constitution. Our constitution has always been there written in stone. Our principles, our rules of conduct, behavior, morals and values, responsibilities and roles define how we govern ourselves. It helps us to maintain our health and balance of our natural world. This constitution is really putting those ways and that vision and that identity down on paper. We are taking our gui loss and we're putting it into the constitution to make it a consistent way of dealing with business on our territory and our reserve. The constitution gives us freedom from the colonial system. The government doesn't understand oral laws, doesn't understand our gui loss. They don't understand what it means to be Heistjo. So we have to show them who we are on paper that allows us an equal seat at the table with government. That is affirming our inherent right and title, our jurisdiction, our sovereignty. This constitution will benefit the safety of our homelands because we will know who is working out on our territory, what they will be doing, who they will be sharing their information with, with what they're seeing out on the territory. When I was young, my brother and I were sent out by my father to go out and set hemlock trees and kelp for food. There was so many areas where it would spawn now we don't have that. All these major areas have been ruined. Cape Bark, Thompson Bay, Stryker Bay, Spider Island. They took the very last herring out and now it's having a hard time in what I call the rebuilding process. After looking after it and allowing it to rebuild, we could once again share it with anyone else. But up until then, we're keeping it closed. I'm not saying that it's all ours, it isn't. But we take care of it so that it could share it one day. The Constitution is by and for Heisuk, and we're so proud of everyone who has taken part in the process. We focused on community engagement, both in community 
and officer because community voice is so important for the Constitution. We've consulted with open houses within our community, within our membership outside of Bella Bella and urban areas. We've uh, also gone to community organizations and entities such as uh, the school board and CAXLA, HEMAS, uh, or the staff at HTC Admin. This Constitution is being authored by our own people because we are listening to everything that we hear, we're taking it seriously, and we're finding ways to put it into the Constitution. It describes our vision for who we are as a people and our place in the world. It also describes how we endeavor to govern ourselves, how we dream about going forward into the future, uniting that vision of our health sickness and our place in the world along with our contemporary governance. With input and feedback from our membership, our Constitution is a living document and it will include our Hilsuk creation stories, Gwe laws, homeland maps, membership rights, freedoms and responsibilities, lawmaking authorities, governance structure and process, financial law, code of conduct, and the amendment process. The Constitution is not a treaty, nor is it land claims. It is a completely different process of navigating self-governance and self-determination. It will not affect our status, identity, or benefits. We are not modifying, ceding, nor extinguishing our rights and title. Passing this Constitution into force means we have made concrete and permanent our way of governance. Our Constitution gives us authority and jurisdiction over land, resources, culture, finances, education, justice, health, and all aspects of our Heistjok world. It describes who we are and where we come from. It outlines our governance system. It describes how we take care of each other and our natural world. It documents our inherited legacy for 14,000 plus years. It describes our lawmaking process. It describes our self-determination. The Constitution for me is a reclamation of our health sick governance and it ties together everything that we've been doing with our health sick women's declaration, our health sick declaration over title and rights, our work in reconciliation. It reflects things like our co-management agreements around resources. The way we've described our guilas around, say, the Nathan E. Stewart, our protocol agreement between HEMAS and Tribal Council. We had issues with Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and um, I think working together with that protocol agreement made it much more powerful. And so there's a space in that constitution for a HEMAS council, for a matriarch council, and for elected leadership to come together and to have discussion and make decisions together. And we're also accountable to the people, where we're engaging with people and the people's assembly and making sure that all of those conversations are done collaboratively. As a longtime fisherman, I always wanted to take young people out so that they could watch what we do, because one day they're going to have to do it too. I was gifted the opportunity to be able to help paint this beautiful design by Larry Campbell. It's just something that makes me feel so emotional because it gave me a kickstart to my artist career and passion. They say that Children come first, you uplift your children. They were the first dancers to step foot out there because they say that the children are the treasures of the community because they are gonna be the future leaders. It all comes from the history that is within every single Heistrug person, wherever they live. Our constitution is something that our nation should be proud of and celebrate because it's about all of us.